activities and sharing them with you so you won't get bored at home. I hope you will try them! Today I'm going to show you how to make a model magic rose. First you'll need some model magic, obviously, because model magic rose. Um, you need a toothpick or something sharp like a toothpick and markers. I'm using a um, magenta like purple and a uh, green. Model magic is kind of like clay, but if you don't play with it, it hardens within an hour. You need to take a little piece of model magic clay. I already colored one piece. I'm going to show you how to color the stem. You need the green. Then you just draw tiny little lines. Be sure not to press it too much. If you press it, it can form like holes. And when you think it's enough, you have to knead it like this. Then slowly the white will start changing into a green color. See the difference? White, green, white, green, green. Okay, let's start with the rose. First, you need to roll it out like this. Then use a marker's body to even it out. Do it slowly. Like that. Then carefully take one end of the dough and then roll it supposed to look like this in the in, in, in the inside so then you have to take one side of the dough if that doesn't look good and you have to like squish it very gently like this then make a tiny little stem out of it then it'll probably look like this, but that's the excess, so you have to cut that out. Like this. Now it looks like a rosebud. Now is the stem part. First you need to roll the green out, like we did with the magenta pink. And then if you think the stem is too long, you can always cut it to the right size you want. There. So this is the right size of stem I want. You can flatten the top to make it easier to attach the bud to your stem. Then you need to attach it. Carefully, try not to squish the bud. Now, it looks like a bow. But we're not done yet. We need to add the leaves. We need to take a tiny, teeny weeny piece of model magic. You need to flatten it up. You need to put it in the shape of a leaf. Like, um, you need to squish one end, like this, for the 
um, leaf stem. And then the other part, you need to squish a little bit. And now the toothpick part comes. This is the tiny detail. So it's best if you use a toothpick or, like I said, something else of sharp. You just need to squeeze it a little bit. Okay, it looks kind of like this, the center line. And then you can make the tiny like lines on it. Be sure to make it tiny. Try it at home. Bye.